Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Nifty Division platform. Right now, I'll be doing one such question that came in your JMIN examination. This question came on 31st August 2021 in shift 1. So let us see this question first. Question says, a coil having n turn is wound tightly in a form of a spiral with inner and outer radii a and b. So you have been given a coil just like this. So this is the coil which I have been given to you. Let this be the center and this distance inner radius is A and outer radius is B. Okay, it is having, uh, this coil is having certain current in it. Okay, find the magnetic field at the center when the current I pass through the coil. Suppose I is the current which is passing through it, just like this. So because of this current flowing in it, so the so the magnetic field at the center that you need to find out. We also know that magnetic field because of the circular coil which is having current I is given by relationship at its center is given by relationship B is equal to mu naught I by 2 R where R is the radius of this coil. Okay, this thing that we already know but because this is uh, since it is not a perfect uh, circle it is having numerous coils so we what you can do is you can take a small distance dx in which n number of turns may be there because since uh, n number of turns is already given to you which and in which the current is flowing so that means this n number of turn is between a and b okay so this is how many number of turn are there in between A and B? It is already given to you as N. Okay, so at a specific distance dx, how many number of turns that is there that you need to find out because we have taken the distance of dx from the center and it is at a distance of x from it. Okay, so the how many number of turns would be there? We know that in the length B minus A, you would be having N number of the turn okay so what would be the number of turn in dx length it would be dx so this is the number of turn you'll be getting in dx length okay now because of this dx length if it is having uh, this much uh, this num this number of turn and each turn will produce its own magnetic field at its center okay so let this magnetic field be db because of the one turn the magnetic field let it be db so it would be mu naught i by 2 x what is x over here x is the radius of this turn okay so this is because of the single turn okay and in dx length this this much number of the turn is there so the magnetic field at the center would be multiplication of this uh, magnetic field because of the single turn multiplied by n number in this much number of turns so it would be n b minus a into dx Okay, so this much number of turn will produce a magnetic field of this. Okay, now what you can do is you have to integrate it so that you can find finally get the value of um, magnetic field because of all the terms. Okay, so again further we'll be calculating it. So what would be our answer? So now we have to integrate it and rest everything is clear. So let integration of this term is let it be b and this x varies from this x length varies from small a to b because the coil starts from a it goes till b and you have taken an arbitrary value x and x varies from a to b okay so this magnetic field let it be b because of the all the terms let the magnetic field would be b okay so here it would be mu naught i by to b minus a and so 1 upon x dx this is the expression that you are getting okay now again further we have to solve it so integration of uh, 1 upon x uh, dx is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 b minus a it would be ln of x where x varies from a to b so it would be mu naught i n 2b minus a ln b by a. So this is the final expression that we are 
getting okay so which option is correct your first option which is mu not i n by 2 b minus a ln b by a this is the correct option that you should get okay this question is also uh, easier it is uh, not very much lengthier if you know the concept you can easily apply it and you will get the answer okay i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you